Somewhere in the region of 2,000 students, fear world, former All Blacks captain and educator Sir John Graham with a rousing haka after his funeral in Auckland today. Hundreds of mourners packed the Holy Trinity Cathedral in Parnell to remember Sir John, who died last Wednesday at the age of 82 from cancer. And as Jesse Chang reports, students from Auckland Grammar performed the first ever whole school haka for the former headmaster. Sir John Graham was described as an inspiring teacher and leader by those who paid their respects at his funeral service today. His granddaughter Kate Connolly said it was overwhelming to see how many people admired her grandfather. She said his legacy and what he stood for would live on. In these last few weeks you told me you were content, you knew you had done what you needed to do and now you have left us at a loss but Papa. <laughs> I can assure you, the wisdom in your voice and the things you have taught us bridge the gap between life and death. You will live on and that is the sign of a great man. His former colleague Nigel Evans spoke of Sir John being a benevolent dictator while he was headmaster at Auckland Grammar School. Mr Evans said the man known to many simply as DJ was firm, but it was indisputable that he cared about people. His mentoring inspired countless individuals to change their lives for the better, set new directions and reach goals that they previously thought unattainable. Former Prime Minister Sir John Key said the former president of the New Zealand Rugby Union lived life to the fullest and had an impact on many, including himself. He was um, instrumental in some of my thinking around education policy and I was lucky to have him um, give me some support and guidance in a number of areas. So at a personal level I had enormous respect for Sir John. Sir John Graham was outspoken and said New Zealanders focused excessively on rugby instead of social issues such as poverty and unemployment. He was also critical of the 1981 Springbok Tour of New Zealand, declining to attend any matches. Former All Blacks coach Sir Graham Henry said while Sir John achieved more in his life than most people, his major love was teaching. He says Sir John was one of the most influential men in his life and helped him to achieve things he didn't think he was capable of. Just by connecting with him, um, he added to your life and changed your life. Um, he gave you opportunities to get better and gave you the support to get better. So I, I can't speak highly enough of the man. I love him. Man love. Hugely. And I'll miss him terribly. After the service, about 2,000 boys from Auckland Grammar performed a first ever whole school haka for Sir John outside the church. They said their former headmaster left a lasting impact on them. Sir John was an absolute grammar legend and he did so much not only for grammar but also for New Zealand as a whole. You know, I saw his, his grandson spoken to him. It's, it's a very, very sad day for Auckland Grammar but you know, a great opportunity to celebrate all that he's given to New Zealand and Auckland Grammar. He's left a lasting legacy on the school and a lot of the sort of initiatives that he um, implemented in the school still live on today. Sir John is survived by his wife Sheila and his three children and four grandchildren. For Checkpoint, for Jesse Chang, TNA.